G'day sir, and this is the Game Sir G8 Plus, and this is an easy way to elevate your mobile gaming game. Let's take a look. Now, unless you've been living under a rock, you'd know that almost 90% of the world owns and uses a smartphone every single day. And inside these smartphones are some of the most powerful chips that have ever been in any electronic device ever. Chances are a low budget device in India is going to be streets ahead, more powerful than gaming consoles and computers from not even 10 years ago. And as a result of all this power sitting inside a handheld device, Smartphones are becoming, well, actually, in fact, they've already become the most popular gaming devices in the world. And from that, companies have been trying to cash in on this trend by making products that might enhance the mobile gaming experience, especially when you have some pretty popular franchises available on any smartphone like PUBG and Fortnite. And boy, are there a lot of options out there. But GameSir, again, admittedly not the most intuitive brand name, is one of very few brands that have stood out and their latest controller, the G8 Plus, makes an incredible case to be the one universal controller to rule them all. Now I've been using it on and off over the last two to three months and use it extensively whilst on a trip overseas to Asia. And let me say, I've actually been quite a skeptic of clamp style mobile gaming controllers for some time now, but this is the closest I've been to converting. So let's first talk about design. The G8 Plus is designed to be a universal clamp style controller that can fit the majority of portable devices. And so you have this nice, almost Xbox One controller style layout with this flat space in the middle. It's all held together with solid plastic and springs. It feels really, really solid. And lining each side where the device sits are these little rubber guards, which not only ensure that the device doesn't get scratched up, but it provides enough friction so it doesn't move when you're gaming. The tension here gives a nice balance of firmness so it keeps your device snug, but also loose enough so that when you put your device in, it doesn't require superhuman strength to open. It feels refined and premium, which is nice. On the bottom of the device, you've got this USB-C port to charge it up, and it comes with a nice USB-A to C cable. Now, as mentioned before, the button and joystick layout is definitely Xbox style with the offset joystick buttons, and even down to these bumpers and triggers. The buttons press nice and firmly, the bumpers are solid and clicky, and the triggers down here are generous enough in surface area to be pressed nice and comfortably. The shell is made from a solid plastic and the bottom surface has a nice grippy textured feel to it, which just helps with how premium it feels. On top of this, the top shelf itself can be removed for cleaning and customization thanks to a magnetic system that holds things in place just like this. And this extends to all the buttons on the controller too, which again held on by magnets. So you can even customize the layout of the buttons to reflect what you see, for example, on a Nintendo console if that's what you largely game on. And overall, it just makes it a breeze to customize the general look, as there's a whole market out there for custom buttons and shells. And did I mention that the whole thing just feels really solid? The grip is chunky and it gives you a really assured feeling that you're holding onto a quality piece of hardware, something that can't always be said about Nintendo's own Joy-Cons. This for me feels way nicer to use, way more ergonomic, and nicer to use for long periods of handheld gaming. In terms of layout, on the bottom left, you've got a screenshot button and an M mode button. There's also a function button on the bottom right that doubles up as a status LED, and it shows you the color and setting it's set up for, like Nintendo Switch versus PlayStation versus Xbox versus mobile device, smartphones, etc. So coming to grips with how to cycle through these different modes isn't as intuitive as it might seem, but we'll get to that in a little bit. Now, all of that quality would all be itself for naught if the package itself wasn't good. So GameSir has made sure of this by giving it absolute universal compatibility. So what that means is there's multiple pairing slots available depending on whatever device you've got. So you're not gonna feel left out like some other products out there, including one of GameSir's previous products, the Galileo G8, which had to be connected to a phone with USB-C or something like 
the Backbone one, which this one is a Lightning version. Now there's a specific way to switch modes and depending on what platform you're trying to connect to, you have to hold the up button on the D-pad and then one of these four A, B, X, Y buttons together. Now I like to think I'm usually someone that can get by without reading an instruction manual for most gadgets, but this was one time where it was absolutely essential. Don't get me wrong, the actual button combinations you need to press aren't that complicated and following the instruction booklet is easy, but you do need to take a little bit of time to memorize which combinations is for what. So maybe once you open it, don't throw the manual out until you've paired all the devices you need to. And it can handle multiple devices. But once it is paired, the actual feel and user experience is top notch. These joysticks are Hall Effect joysticks, so there's no risk of stick drift and you've got super accurate input. And these joysticks, triggers and buttons themselves, as I mentioned before, just have a reassuring weight to it and doesn't feel cheap. With a smartphone, I've been using it to play emulated games and it's been an absolute joy and makes it feel like I'm gaming on an Xbox. But if emulation isn't your jam, well this works incredibly well as a replacement for your Switch's Joy-Cons, just like here. Ditch those flimsy little Joy-Cons, pair it in with a Switch in Switch mode, and then just whack the Switch inside and it almost looks like it was made for this purpose. Honestly, on the surface, it almost looks like it's native. It looks OEM. But if it's not a Switch, the fact that there's no USB port or lightning port, you can connect pretty much anything to it, whether it's as long as it's big enough. A phone, a tablet, a Pixel Fold, you name it. As long as it's no larger than nine inches, you're sweet. Now you also need to make sure that if you put a phone in there, make sure it doesn't have a huge camera hump because that can probably make your phone sit just slightly off and not level. It's a tiny little nitpick and it's certainly not a deal breaker because the rubber sides do a great job to hold things in place. In fact, I've found it awesome to use with my Pixel Fold 2 or iPad mini for gaming thanks to that larger screen. All of the buttons work as you would expect them to, including the screenshot button, and the inputs just feel really nice. The G8 also has rumble support, so depending on the platform you decide to pair it with, it may or may not give you haptic feedback as well. And now it's certainly not the most precise haptic feedback I've had, and it certainly doesn't hold a candle to Sony's DualSense controller or the Sony Portal when it comes to the tactile experience. But for a third party controller, it's pretty great. Now, if there are any details of the controller that you want to tweak even further, like with macros and with these extra buttons on the back, then GameSir have also have an app that your phone can connect to to customize these features. But if that's not your jam, then you can just refer back to the instruction manual and there are ways that you can customize turbo keys and other inputs directly on the controller themselves. It'll be a slight learning curve for people that haven't used these types of controllers before, but if you invest some time learning how to customize it, you'll be rewarded. And there's a lot of options here, and that's great. Now it uses Bluetooth 5.3, and fortunately I haven't encountered any input lag so far, and that's with every device that I've used it with, whether it's a smartphone, a tablet, Nintendo Switch. And if you don't wanna use it with a phone or a Switch, Again, it works perfectly well just as a simple Bluetooth controller with any of the systems that you'd like to do, PC, Xbox, whatever. On top of this, the G8 Plus rocks a 1000 milliamp hour battery that's split between both sides. And for most situations where you want a gaming session, it'll last the distance. I mean, I regularly found myself completely forgetting that the controller actually needs a charge, but luckily that hasn't bit me in the ass so far. It's certainly not the fastest charging controller in the world, but luckily you shouldn't need to charge it too frequently for this to be a problem anyway. Now in Australia, the game Sir G8 Plus starts at $129. So for a mobile phone controller, it's definitely up there in price, so it's not cheap, but we are talking about a controller that just oozes quality and refinement. So the cost has to come from somewhere. And that's basically it. The G8 Plus is a mobile gamer's dream. It's compatible with pretty much all mobile devices up to even seven inch iPads or tablets, and it's made from quality materials and nothing about it screams cheap. It works really well and really does improve the whole experience of mobile gaming. So if you're in the market for a reliable, good quality product that can elevate your mobile gaming experience, look no further than the GameSir G8 Plus, because weird name aside, it absolutely nails everything else you might need in a mobile gaming controller. But what do you think? Is this the mobile gaming controller to end all controllers? Let me know why or why not in the comments section below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to give us a like, subscribe for more, and ding the bell icon so you don't miss out. Thanks for watching the video guys. Stay safe out there, and I'll catch you in the next one. Cheers.